When it comes to pairing, some things just work. Oh, that's so they? nice of you. Dermot, Alison, oh. strawberries and cream, G and T, yeah. Will I Am and Britney oh, Spears. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's great to hear that musical duo have once again collaborated for the latest single, Mind Your Business. Here to tell us all about it is the one and only Will I Am. Hey Will. Hey, how are you guys? We're oh, great, thanks. thanks. How are you I this morning? Nice seeing you. We're good this morning. How are you this morning? I'm good this morning. Oh, Thank amazing. you. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. New single, Mind Your Business. Yes. Is that literally the message, mind your own business? Um, for things that don't pertain to you, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, especially when, you know, in the world that we live in today. Like, we live in a world where people are pressured to share every single moment. And when they don't share, um, certain things, they feel like they're left out yeah. or they're not fitting in. And that shouldn't be the case. You should share when you want to share or what you want to share. Yeah. You shouldn't be... You don't have to share everything. Exactly. Yeah. And the moment that... That's what I'm talking about on, on my verse on Mind Your Business. Brittany's talking about, you know, the price of that level of fame where you can't even go to Tesco, you can't go to, you know, the supermarket, you can't go out without a price being on a photo. The That's super interesting thing about that as well, from sort of, you know, someone like Britney's perspective, that got into the business so young, and you see it with so many boy bands as well, is they have no idea what, they, what that level of fame until you're in it, right? Yeah. So you think you want it, and then when you're in it, you're like, oh, hang on a second, no human being, like, mm. really can, it, can be expected to deal with that in a rational way. It's so difficult. So you've known her a long time, right? Yeah, I've known her, um, well, I've been a fan for a while, before I met her. And I would just jot them down, take, you know, uh, parts of the things that she was saying. I'm like, wow, that's a nice sentence. That's a nice mm -hmm. phrase. That's a nice catchy thing that we could build from. And then I will return the next lunch and be like, hey, check out this. Um, and then we would go into the studio and write, write that, so. Is that the way you are with everyone? So when you collaborate, do you? No, you... that's the way I was with, with Brittany. Yeah. You know, that's, that's a unique, to, to working with her. So when you collaborate mostly, do you like to meet up or do you just, or do, you just do your own thing and then bring it to the party? How does it work? <clears throat> well, it depends. Like me and John Legend, we just have different types of conversations around a piano. Yeah. Um, me and Usher is just back and forth. I'll come up with stuff, throw it to Usher. He'll send me notes. Yeah. Right, so each, each person that I work with you have to treat it unique. So interesting, the way that collaboration mm. that works. Where would yeah. your collaboration with Will be? Oh, we'd 100% be out. You're out in so a I'm club? Like, honestly, in a club? So we, we had a great night. You probably doesn't remember. We, so Will used to do Judges' Houses so many times because yeah. he was so... He could just come on X Factor. And then one night, we were sat around this hotel, uh, and Will was just like... It was about 2 in the morning, and we were just both... Like, Hi, guys, how you doing? We were like, what, what, where have you come from? <laughs> <laughs> he was doing a DJ gig in London. He yes. just came back, and we just sat him down. We had a great, we had a great chat that two night. 2 in the morning? Yeah, something oh, like that. Sleep when you're dead, out. And that's where, that's where you're... like, our great, you know, some, some of our great collaborations came from. <laughs> <laughs> on, my, on my greatest Where would time. our collaboration be, Will? Um, well, you're fun, so it has to be somewhere where somewhere we... Somewhere for, like, a <laughs> ball park. Don't say that as a contrast. Well, you're fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's too. He's fun. You're laughing. Ball park. A place where you, where you could really just... Yeah, you get know, loose. Here. Yeah, oh, we'd create some good stuff. Listen, yeah. there's no video to this yet, so let's just have a listen. Let's have a listen. Mind your business. There's a there's a bee there. What's it? Mind your business. Beep, beep. There's a bee there. No A. Yeah, super no A. Super no A. Oh, that is a tune. Yo, it rocks. I we absolutely we love it. Play another video again and just always do that. that yeah, we're doing the video. That's, that's video. You put that out now. Viral. <laughs> uh, listen, we have to talk about a few things for you. There you go. Uh, first of all, headlining Brighton Pride next month. Obviously, you've done Pride before. Must be excited about that. Um, beyond excited. Um, always love playing it. Um, this this one's going to be super special. Yeah. Um, and I can't wait to drop this song. At it. Oh gosh, it's, it's gonna, gonna go. And Brighton's a great town as well. And yeah, have such a good time down there. Um, also, the, the you got the Voice Kids. What well, was really interesting reading is that you find the Voice Kids in many ways harder and more rewarding at the same time than doing the actual voice. I find it harder to watch the kids, if I'm honest with you, because I hate when you don't turn around. It's like mm. oh, it and kills my. And Janice this year it kills me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's harder from the perspective of saying no to kids 
when they're showing you their dreams mm. and the things that they're passionate about. Yeah. And you see their parents right to the other side and the kids are strong, but the parents are crying. Like that one is, is a hard one. Yeah. Cause you're thinking about like, wow, well, I don't have kids, but just, you know, putting myself in the in the shoes of the parents, like, wow, how would I be? And you've been a kid, so you understand, right? I mean, yeah, I've been, I've, yeah, I've been a kid. Yeah. You've, been, you've been a kid. That's what I mean, we've all been there. <laughs> we, we understand we, the passion. But of the thing with kids is you just take it on the chin. We're fine, it is the parents that mm. get upset. But uh, what I love about the voice is you're always positive yeah. with them. You're always positive with the children. That's mm. so lovely. Yeah, and, and, and when, you, when you're on the voice kids, you don't have to worry about a kid being like, super disgruntled on like the industry and then sliding you a demo on the side or like this is my last yeah. shot. Yeah. You don't have that. It's just nothing but joy, yeah. optimism, a clear view of the future and what they want to do. Like it's nothing but joy. I'm just going to put my record. Come on, do it. Uh, <laughs> Stop it. Your <laughs> is out now. Thank you, Will. Oh, uh, thank you guys.